Yo, this is Lex, and this is my first impressions and review of Season 19's Public Test Ground. I'll show you some gameplay, but first let's take a look at the patch notes. The buff for Season 19 is called Pandemonium. After reaching a certain number of kills in a row, a power is unleashed. It was fun playing around with these powers since there are different strategies involved. You can reset the kill streak to repeat the early powers again, or you can time the angels to kill the boss. Blizzard announced they were adding a new set for every class, and this patch started with Crusader and Monk sets. These sets were very underwhelming and need to be revisited. Hopefully we can get an update to buff them. Vengeful Wind was buffed to help the new monk set, but ended up making Sun Ruko Wave of Light stronger. The most exciting buffs this patch are for Barbarians. I spent most of my time on the PTR playing the new Whirlwind Ren build. I'll be showing gameplay of this later in the video. There's a damage nerf for Chantoto that is very vague in the patch notes. I'm not sure why they didn't give us numbers here. SVR and Tinny tested it and found the damage nerfed by about 43% or 3.5 greater rift levels. Personally, I don't like this change, since it added another group speed meta comparable to Rats and the new Whirlwind Rend. The other nerfs this patch are for Thorn's Necromancer. Bone Ringer now has a cap of 60 instead of stacking indefinitely. This makes boss kill time slower, but it still might be the best build for greater rift 150. I can kinda understand the reason for this nerf when the only 150 duo clear was done with Thorn's Necromancer but it shouldn't have been completely destroyed as a solo pushing build. Blighter was the best boss for Thorn's Necromancer by a large margin, so they nerfed the rate at which he hits. He is still a fast kill and might remain the best boss for the build. Squirt's Necklace bug has been fixed. This was frustrating for me while playing Vio Chantoro or Bazooka, so I'm happy to see it fixed. Let's just jump into some Barbarian Whirlwind Rend gameplay. The new buffs made group speed running great for experience farming. We were doing Greater Rift 107s around 2.5 minutes without any augments, making them comparable to rats and pre-nerfed Viochan Toto. The Pandemonium buff did help a bit, but you can see the Ren damage is pretty good. In this group, we had two Whirlwind Ren barbs, a Support Barb, and a Support Monk. You can also replace a Whirlwind Ren barb with an Impaled Demon Hunter. During these speedruns we didn't think about the killstreak powers too much, unless we were close to 500 kills near the end. Sometimes we could time the angels to kill the boss for us. I also pushed with the build in a solo 133 Greater Rift. The strategy here was to gather mobs and kill 15 enemies with Ren to start a chain reaction. Twisters spawn to kill more enemies, activating more powers at 30, 50, and 100 kills. The barb is great for this strategy, since they can pull enemies with the Ancient Spear. Notice how much damage is actually being done by Ren. The build's damage is not overpowered, but I use the killstreak powers to do 99% of the damage. I haven't made a guide on this build yet, since the patch notes are not finalized. I'll be releasing new build guides while playing next season, after more testing and tweaking. I run away to reset the killstreak and repeat the chain reaction. The power is taken to speed up the pop, but I should have saved it for the boss. It takes a while to kill 15 trash mobs, even with the power. The chain reaction is started, killing everything and spawning the boss. The boss takes some time, but eventually dies due to Bane of the Stricken stacking. It takes me 5 minutes to kill the boss. I also use the killstreak powers to carry Bazooka Wizard in the 134 Greater Rift. Similar to the Barbarian run, I use the chain reaction to kill a group of enemies. I reset my killstreak to do another chain reaction. I keep my killstreak going on the second map, and use the 100 killstreak power to finish an elite. On the third map I drop a meteor on trash, using the 150 power to clear everything.
I gather another group of enemies for the 200 kill streak power. Any enemies killed by these powers add to my Archon stack, increasing the damage of my next meteor. At this point I need to ignore elites and kill more trash to increase my kill streak. The 300 kill streak power helps me finish the trash here. The conduit spawns, and I plan to use it on trash to reach 500 kills. I don't need to drop a meteor and enter Archon to take the conduit. I'm not sure if the kill streak powers were meant to be this strong and used in this way. We'll have to see what Blizzard decides to do. Personally, I had a lot of fun on the PTR, but the season will only last two weeks if the powers aren't toned down. I skip the progression globe since I'm not ready to spawn the boss. I finally hit 500 kills and the angels beam down from heaven. Now I can spawn the boss, and the angels finish the run. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more content, and feel free to stop by the live stream if you have any questions or comments. Happy slaying.